All right. I truly do hate floodgates. I truly do. Or any any car, any freaking car that says, you know what? You can't do nothing for the turn. Those things. Now, I played against someone. Actually, over the past year, whatever, I've been playing multiple people where, oh, flip over this car. No, you can't do anything. Now, the argument I've been hearing people saying, well, you can do the same thing too. I mean, I could. I could. I mean, where the Yuka players aren't the ones who make the cards. We just use the cards that they allow us to use because they made them. So whose fault or who should you be mad at? Konami or the player that's using it? If I... I'm, if I'm supposed to duel someone, a duel, it's a battle between two people, a duel. I'm supposed to duel someone. How can I duel someone if they don't even allow me to start in the first place? It feels like cheating. Just imagine back in the day they had, you know, the guns, the pistols, they're supposed to duel. And the person says, hey, guess what? You got to stop without any bullets in your gun, but I do. Do you see the point that I'm making? You're supposed to take six steps back from each other, whoosh, pull out the gun, blah! First person to get hit, loses. But if you have no bullets to even start, that, how is that a duel? That's the point I'm making. I don't care how, who made the card and who chooses to play, it doesn't matter. If any particular card keeps players from playing it, to begin with, should not be. Should not be. Now you say, oh, you can side, you have counters. Yes, I've been running counters. Cosmo Cyclone, I bumped that thing up to three in my side deck. I keep running into stun decks, and then maybe that's just my luck. But Cosmo Cyclone, baby. Ghost Ogre, baby, has been working for me. Every, every week, Every set that comes out is a different deck, a different type, a different card, something else I got to side in. Got 15 cards. feel like I don't never have enough for every matchup that I'm going against. And people say, hey, when you go to a big tournament, you put your extra deck, build it, to wait, build it towards the decks you lose the most to, and build it towards the deck you're going to see the most. So that's what I've been doing. I lose the... Back row decks and stun decks. I got three cyclones in there. I got three evenly matches. Great. And then I got my my um, fire, fire king, snake eyes, brilliant, whatever those decks. I have stuff for that. And so it's been working. It's been working. But as soon as I get the game, if they go first, stun, and I lose that first match, and then I side out, and then I end up winning the second match, and then the third match, I'm hoping I draw into my Cosmic Cyclones and my other stuff. I'm, we, already, we already know the story. Oh, guess what? I sided in nine cards. Nine. I just needed one. And we all, it's the luck of Yu-Gi-Oh. We didn't draw into it. We didn't draw into it. That's just tough luck, man. That's just how the game go. I know people going 11 and 0, undefeated. I'm like, dude, what did you play? Who did you play against? And how did you do that? How did you do that with all the stupid crap that be going in, in the game? Jeez. So what do you think about floodgates? What do you think about cards that say, you know what? No, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do that just completely just destroys your deck. Oh, it's so sunny. Destroys your deck from turn one. Anti-spell fragrance. Couldn't do anything. There can only be one. Skill drain. Time to fight fire with fire. You hear me? I'm coming after you with my floodgates. All of them. Try me.